What's going on, everyone? This your boy Ron back with DFS Greatness. I'm here to give you great line, those great picks. Let's have a great night. Um, like the page, subscribe to my channel, you know, because I know you're going to like this video. Let's get to it, man. We got a four-game slate for this Saturday, January 26th. Let's get to it. First game of the night, you got Pacers going against the Grizzlies at 203 total. All the depots out for the season, so we'll definitely look at Tyree Evans. Second game, we got the Warriors going against the Celtics at a 231 total. Sixers against the Nuggets at 226 total. Joel B is already out. Jimmy Butler's out. And Wilson Chandler's out. So it's going to be a lot of value on the Sixers roster tonight. And Hawks against the 12, Trailblazers at 228 total. Let's get to it. I'm going to give you the plays I like at each position. At the point guard position, the guy I like tonight, I like Kyrie Irving. Because I think he's in a good matchup tonight. He's got been just feeling like he got the weight on his shoulder just to be a leader of a team. And he, it's, it's real now. He just don't know how he's been playing. He's been on, on terror lately, averaging 44 fantasy points. And with a 29% usage rate, I think against Golden State, he's average, um, average last three games against Golden State, 35 fantasy points. But I like him a lot. He's in a good matchup, and he's going to get Stephen Curry defense. At 9,300, he's projected to get 43 fantasy points. It's from four times value. I like him a lot. And he's $1,200 more on FanDuel. I like him a lot. Another guy I like a lot, too, is Dame Lillard going against Atlanta Hawks. They're 30 up at defense. And at the point guard position, they're 27. At 8,900, to get five times value, he need about 45 fantasy points. Last three games, he's averaging 44 fantasy points, 44, 61, to 48. Playing around 35 minutes a game with 30% usage rate. I like him a lot. On DraftKings, he 1,100 more, so I like him a lot. I'm going to give you another guy, um, Darren Collinson. I like him a lot tonight. Last three games, he averaged 25 fantasy points, 36, 41, and 30. With a 16% usage rate, last three games in Memphis, he averaged 28 fantasy points, 7, 32, and 45. I think he's in a good spot because Memphis at the point guard position, they're not that good. I like him a lot tonight. And he's $900 more on FanDuel. That's a guy I like tonight. And also, Corey Joseph at 4,100. That's a good pivot play you can go with. Um, with the news, all the deep out for the season, it's going to be a lot of more um, – Usage for him, a lot of more opportunity from the score. Um, he averaging 19 fantasy points a game. I feel like 4,100, he's in a fantastic spot tonight. You can go with him. There'd be um, a lot of money you could save. Well, that's my core guys for the point guard position that we're going to go with. I didn't really mention Ben Simmons, but I know he's in a good spot tonight with all the injuries and stuff. But, you know, I'm, I'm going to have him in a few GPP lineups. And Ben Simmons has been on a tear also. He's averaging 44 fantasy points, 61, 60, 31, 53. But on DraftKings, he can be um, point guard small forward eligible. That's why I didn't really mention him because you can put him at your small forward also. At 9,600, you need 50 um, points to hit five times value. He should be able to do that tonight. And he's $500 more on FanDuel. At the shooting guard position, a guy I like a lot tonight. Um, I like CJ McCullen. I like him a lot. 6,600 going against Atlanta. Last three games against Atlanta, he's averaging 38 fantasy points, 42, 30, and 43. And with a 26% usage rate. Last three games, he's averaging 31 fantasy points, 30, 43, and 28. Um, at 6,600, he's projected to get 32 points. That's um, um, five times value. He should be able to get, to that, get that tonight going against Atlanta. They dead last in defense and dead last at the um, shooting guard position. So they give up the most points. And he's $200 more on FanDuel. I like him a lot tonight. I'm going to go that direction with him. Um, another guy I like, too, with the news of all the people out tonight with, in Philadelphia, I like J.J. Reddick at 5,600. He's averaging 27 fantasy points a game, 32, 26, and 29, with a 23% usage rate going against Denver. I like him a lot. He's averaging 27 points against Denver. Um, at 5,600, he need 32 points to hit five times value. He should be able to do that tonight. And he's $500 more on FanDuel. I like him a lot tonight. And one guy is going to be a good pick. I like Tyree Evans tonight. He's going against Memphis. I guess you can call that a revenge game. But um, with the news of Oladipo, he's going to be in the starting lineup tonight. So he's been playing around um, about 21 minutes averaging a game. But he should play in his mid-30s tonight. Um, going against Memphis, 
He should be able to um, hit value or hit even more. He's projected 22 points tonight, but I see him getting about probably about 30 or 40 points tonight against Memphis because Memphis on a back to back, and he's $100 cheaper on FanDuel, so he might be a better play on FanDuel if you want to go that direction with him. I'm gonna lock him in at the small four position. Earlier, already mentioned. Um, already mentioned. Um, Ben Simmons already, so I already told him on DraftKings you can go with him on point guard a small four. He should be a lock, but a guy I like a lot tonight. I like Kevin Durant at forty nine, um, at ninety two hundred. He's um been averaging forty nine fantasy points a game. I like him a lot with thirty one uh, percent usage rate going against Boston. As um to hit forty eight points is five times value. He's two hundred dollars more on Fanduel, so. Um, he's still a good. Uh, I think he's in a good spot price wise. I like him a lot tonight. We'll go that direction with him. Another guy I like tonight on DraftKings at on um, five thousand. I like Terion to Terion Prince at five thousand. Uh, he need about twenty seven fantasy points. Hit five times value. He been averaging around twenty four points a game. I like him a lot tonight. Um, well, he playing around 27 minutes a game. Last three games against Portland, he averaged 28 fantasy points. He's in a good spot tonight. Um, at the small four position, at rank 26, they don't they're not that good at all. I like him a lot. He's um 5,000. He's cheap. You can save a lot of um cap with him. Another guy I like tonight too. Small four, power four, eligible is Marcus Morris going against um ball. I'm going against Golden State at 4,800. He need about 24 fantasy points. Hit five times value. He should be able to do that. The last three games, he averaged 26 fantasy points. Um, his minutes is there. We're averaging about 27 minutes a game. I like him a lot tonight. I'm going to give you one more other guy I like tonight. Um, Aminu. I'm going against Atlanta. Uh, that's a good matchup at 4,500. He need around 24 fantasy points to hit value. Last three games against Atlanta, he's averaging 22 points. And um, Aminu's averaging 30 minutes a game. Going against Atlanta, 30 of, uh, of a hole. And 29th against small four and power four. I like him a lot tonight. I think he's in a good spot. Definitely a good spot. Well, that's my um, people I like at the small forward position. That's, that's what I'm going to rock with tonight. Power forward position. Um, one guy, I got to have him in my lineup tonight, John Collins, 8,000. Um, he's a good price. He projected to get 34 fantasy points. Um, he should be able to get that tonight, a little bit more. Last three games, um, he had, had averaging 37 fantasy points a game, 53, 32, 34, 23% usage rate. Um, he is five hundred dollars more on FanDuel. I think he's in a good matchup because Portland they're not really good at rebounding and everything. I like John Collins a lot tonight. I think he's in a good spot. But he's in a very good spot tonight. If you want to go the direction with him, and also I like Deadman also at at fifty one hundred. Nothing wrong with Deadman. Last three games he's averaging twenty five fantasy points, thirty three, thirty nine, twelve. I like him a lot tonight. Fifty one hundred. He's twelve hundred dollars more on FanDuel. Um, he's projected to get 24 fantasy points. That's about four times value. He should be able to get that tonight um, uh, going against um, Portland. He should be able to get that. should be no problem with him getting that. And some other guys, I'm going to give you some value. Mike Muscala, 4,200, and Bolden at 4,100. You got to like them guys in with confidence because they're going to be shorthanded tonight, and them guys are going to have to play heavy minutes since Joel Embiid and Jimmy Butler and Wilson Chandler is out. So, you know. They're going to still fight. You know, it's going to be probably a competitive game. I like them guys both tonight because it's still 226 total. So the game should be competitive. So I like both of those guys right now for um, pivot plays. You can save some money with going with both of those guys. Uh, it should be Mike Muscala starting tonight, but that's the guy who mostly get the start. And at the center position tonight, the guy I like a lot. Um, I like um, Nurkish tonight, too, at 8,600. He's been on a tear lately, going against Atlanta. That's the last game of the night, averaging 37 fantasy points a game, 30, 47, and 54. I like him a lot tonight with a 25% usage rate. Last three games going against Atlanta, 28, 34, and 44 points. So he's averaging around 35 points a game. I like him a lot. He's $900 more on FanDuel. I'm telling you, Atlanta is dead last in defense, man. They This is a good – Nurk is in a, a terrific matchup. And Jokic, I mean, he got suspended last night. But he's averaging 48 fantasy points a game at 10,700. 
I mean, the sky's limit for him tonight with Joel Embiid out tonight. He could break the slate. I mean, I'm pretty sure he's not going to be highly owned. A lot of people going to have more exposure to the Boston and Golden State game if you want to go that direction than that one. It's a lot of other good centers. I mentioned Deadman last night. I mean, Deadman, you can go with him and Mike Muscala. He should be starting, so I'm probably going to have Muscala in a few lineups and stuff like that. It looks like you 17000 left, and you still have enough cap to go get a guy like you can go get Damon Lillard or um, Stephen Curry. You can like Damon Lillard in. I like him in that matchup also. And then you can go get cheap guys like, um, like I told you earlier, you can go get um, some cheap guys like Corey Joseph. You can go get throw bold in your lineup because he's gonna probably gonna get some minutes tonight. You still got a lot of cap. Like you can get a guy like Bembry. Bembry been playing awesome a lot tonight with your cap. It's just whatever you want to do, guys. But it's it's some good matchups out there tonight. Some real good matchups. Real good matchups tonight, man. Hope this video was helpful for you guys. I just gave you um solid picks and stuff, and um. I just want everybody to be able to get to that green line tonight and cash out, man. This is Saturday. Let's get to it, man. Um, I gave you all the picks that I like tonight. You know, I hope I'm trying to make sure I didn't miss anybody. Uh, also, at 4,000 on DraftKings, TJ McConnell. I like him a lot tonight. I think he's in a good matchup. And um, that's about it, man. Hope this video was helpful to y'all guys. Um, let's cash out everyone. Let's get to the bag tonight. Let's cash out everyone. And um, until next time, I'm out.